Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Ever wondered why even a brief burst of noon sunshine can still leave you pink, despite cutting seed oils from your meals? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. And with co-host Alara Sky, I'll uncover how linoleic acid, the dominant fat in vegetable oil, embeds in your skin and how an odd chain-saturated fat called C150 helps you push it out. Thanks, Ethan. Linoleic acid, or LA, is the most abundant omega-6 in today's processed foods. Once you eat it, your body tucks it into fat stores and cell membranes, including the keratinocytes that eventually form the outer layer of your skin. When sunlight hits those LA-rich cells, the fat oxidizes quickly, showering your tissue with harmful byproducts that accelerate damage. So even after you've swapped soybean and canola oil for butter and tallow, LA you ate months, sometimes years. A ghost still shows up in your bloodstream. I've heard listeners assume a low LA diet resets their risk in weeks, yet their lab panels tell another story. Help us understand why that backlog forms and why dietary changes alone can't fix it. The problem is what researchers call the adipose trap. Triglycerides in your fat tissue turn over slowly. Radiocarbon studies show the average molecule sits in place for about two years. During that time, LA seeps out continuously, rides with albumin in the blood, and gets recycled into every new skin cell, long after you have stopped eating seed oils. That mismatch is striking. Fat stores refresh over years, yet your epidermis renews roughly every 28 days. So, with LA flooding the supply chain, enzymes pick it simply because it's abundant, not because it's safe. Is there a practical way to shift that competition without waiting multiple summers? It sounds like we need to change the chemistry of what's delivered to those enzymes, not merely cut supply at the grocery store. Yes, pentadecanoic acid, better known as C150, offers that leverage. It's an odd chain saturated fat found in full fat dairy and ruminant meats. Unlike LA, C150 has no double bonds, resists oxidation, and slides into the same membrane slots. By raising circulating C150, you crowd out LA and build tougher, less reactive skin membranes. Its presence creates a literal shield, limiting the chain reaction of oxidative stress each time UV rays strike. The article highlights several mechanisms. First, C150 integrates at the SN1 position of phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylethanolamine. Second, it nudges key enzymes, acyl-CoA and LPCAT, to choose it over polyunsaturates. Finally, it signals through PPAR-alpha and PPAR-delta. Each of those levers acts in a different compartment, membrane assembly, enzyme preference, and nuclear transcription. So, together they form a multi-layered strategy. Walk us through the metabolic implications of that signaling. Activation of PPAR-alpha boosts CPT1, the gateway that shuttles long-chain fats into mitochondria for beta-oxidation, increasing fat burning. PPAR-delta and AMPK further elevate mitochondrial activity while damping mTOR, reducing storage. Together, these shifts accelerate lipolysis, meaning LA leaves adipose tissue faster, yet the enzymes now prefer re-estering C150, so less LA cycles back into cell membranes. Listeners always ask for timelines. According to the modeling, a supplemental dose of 2 grams of C150 per day saturates blood lipids within a month. Early keratinocytes show about a 10% drop in LA during that first skin cycle. Give us the month-by-month picture so people can set realistic expectations and avoid discouragement. What happens as you keep going? From weeks 4 through 12, cumulative LA in new skin layers falls by roughly 30%. By month 6, progress plateaus until the adipose reservoir wanes. With persistent C150 intake, plus a diet keeping LA under 2% of calories, the article projects clearance of more than 80% of mobilizable LA within 12 to 18 months about half the usual timeline. So factors like body fat percentage and gene variants shape the curve. The piece notes that if you carry more than 30% body fat or have sluggish LP-SAT activity, 
Your clearance may stretch toward two years, yet the direction remains the same as long as intake stays consistent and hidden seed oils stay out. Exactly. And while membranes remodel, sun exposure strategy matters. Early in the protocol, residual LA still oxidizes quickly, so you should favor morning or late afternoon light and avoid the 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. window. Conventional sunscreens undermine vitamin D and often introduce their own risks, so the article recommends timed, progressive exposure rather than chemical blocks. Once the lipid profile stabilizes, sunlight offers benefits, from nitric oxide release to circadian entrainment. But patience is key. Let's outline the five-step protocol that pulls all of this together so listeners can act methodically. I'd like you to detail each step clearly so they can audit their routine without guesswork. This way, they can prioritize steps according to their lifestyle and resources. Step 1. Cap LA below 2% of your calories by eliminating industrial seed oils and choosing pasture-raised animal products. Step 2. Take 2 grams of pure C150 daily, split between meals for steady plasma levels. Step 3. Every three months, Test a dried blood spot or RBC panel to confirm C150 exceeds 0.4% and LA falls below 5%. Step 4 involves lifestyle accelerators, intermittent fasting, high-intensity workouts under 75 minutes per week, and heat exposure from saunas or hot baths to mobilize stored fat. Step 5. Ease into sun until your second summer. Build tolerance gradually. Prioritize dietary antioxidants like astaxanthin, niacinamide, and vitamin E, and rely on saturated fats from ghee, butter, and tallow for internal support. By following those steps, you shorten the vulnerable window, lower UV-driven 4-HNE formation by more than 60% within 18 months, and regain the ability to synthesize vitamin D in healthy midday light without burning. The protocol doesn't promise invincibility, but it restores your skin's natural resilience faster than diet alone. And these improvements aren't just theoretical. They track with blood markers as well as real-world sun tolerance reported in field observations. Before we close, let's tackle the most frequent questions. Why is LA harmful? Because its bisallylic bonds break apart under UV, spawning toxic aldehydes that damage DNA. How does C150 intervene? By occupying those membrane positions with a bond-stable molecule, displacing LA and resisting peroxidation, answering these clears up misconceptions we see daily in the inbox. Another common concern is food sources. Full-fat dairy and ruminant fat contain only 100 to 200 milligrams daily, far shy of the 2-gram target. So supplementation with verified high C15 butter oil or pure powder is essential. And yes, Within four weeks, you'll begin to see changes in test results, though full remodeling still demands steady commitment. Here's your practical challenge. Starting today, audit every oil in your pantry and restaurant meal, aiming to keep linoleic acid under that 2% threshold, and introduce a divided 2-gram daily dose of C150 for the next 90 days. Track your metrics, notice how your skin responds to gentle morning sunlight, and adjust as evidence guides you. Every decision you make at the market or the stovetop nudges your cellular landscape toward vulnerability or vigor. Choose wisely. Commit to that 90-day audit, and you'll set the stage for a year of healthier, more resilient skin. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.